compartmentalize everything. That's what I do with my emotions. I know I like you for a reason. <laughs> Hi, my name is Joshua David Stein. I'm the editor at large at Fatherly. I am Jeff Morrow. I am co-host of The Kitchen, Food Network Sandwich King, and here on behalf of George Foreman to show you how to make the greatest breakfast burrito of all time. So that's what I want to talk about because I have two kids. They're three and six. Oh man. Getting them out of the house in the morning is like a nightmare. It's like you get up at 6.30 and from 6.30 to when you leave, it's just chaos. Well, this is, this is the beauty of this recipe. And I think you can do this for dinner or you can do it on the fly in the morning. Have all your ingredients ready to go. And with your kids, get them involved in breakfast. They're gonna eat whatever they make. And that's kind of part of my rule. They're more likely to taste new food if they have a hand in the creation of yes. it. Yes. All right, so we got our uh, rapid grill here. We got this about 400 degrees. That's that's the magic number here. And we got this here, and the beauty of this is using like one eight ounce cut of steak. This could feed your family of four. Mm -hmm. You can help me. If you can open that, those giant biceps of yours. And this way, you can hear that beautiful. You get that beautiful sear going. That's gonna cook five minutes aside, so, six minutes aside. So what I would do is before my kids get up, I would start searing it. Mm -hmm. So then they're, they awake to the smell mm -hmm. of searing meat yep. and they just think I'm a much better dad than I actually am. And, and you don't even, you know, you can use bacon with that. Breakfast sausage, turkey sausage, oh. chicken sausage, whatever smell you want to awake them to that morning, <laughs> you switch it up. Okay. We got beautiful seared steak, right? Cooked to medium. So we just threw some butter on this griddle attachment. Now we're gonna do our vegetables, quick and easy. And the beauty of this, we can do this all in the same attachment. You don't have to switch anything out. So some onions, nice and caramelized. Some red pepper, peppers for some sweetness and some color. All right, so we got some eggs. Another thing for the kids, cracking eggs. You know, it's a fun thing to kind of teach them, you know, against the surface, right? Your thumb in there. And my son can crack an egg like nobody's business. So your son who only eats meat will eat eggs. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs, okay. But scrambled hard, he does not like runny. He doesn't scrambled. like uh, you know, soft. No. So Lorenzo, um, Lorenzo loves steak. Yeah. Loves steak in any form. But the guy, man, if he could, cheeseburger. Medium, with a, like a hard sear on it. Yeah. But beautiful, like a, pink like and the, juicy. The smash kind? Not or even the, like a the, pub the, burger. He doesn't really like the thin burgers that yeah. much. He likes a good, you know, $18 burger. So we got these in here. Now we're just gonna take Take that steak, we got our eggs. We're just gonna kinda lightly scramble them. <laughs> All right, while this is going, I'll throw some steak on there, just to kinda warm it up. There you go. Beautiful. So now we're gonna do, I like to kinda put the egg right on top, nice and hot, on that cheese to help start melting the cheese. All right, that beautiful steak that we seared quickly. Beautiful, now we can wrap, are you ready? This is the rule. You have your stuff in the middle, if you do have a sauce, do a, a whole perimeter around there. So every bite is even. Smart. And the ratios are solid and sound. Fair. No, no. I, I was just. Sides first. I was just. Sides first. Just foreplay. Now, over, right? Now this comes the tricky part. You wanna kinda get this, these yeah. guys in like that, almost like tucking it in. Okay. Now you wanna get it tight. You wanna start tight rolling it, like you used to do yeah, your jeans I know, in the uh, 90s, right? Uh, I didn't. You didn't do that? I didn't I'm, know you are gonna I'm say 40. jeans. Now, you make sure it's all in there, and then you look. Now that's what it's supposed to, that's a prop, let me see. Also, if you're doing this at home, right? You do it like that, yeah. that way you could see that beautiful cross section. And because we rolled it right, you get egg, vegetable, and then we got our crema right here, yeah. which we could put a little dollop on. And then do this for your kids, I encourage you. Plate it's it up. Crack. Plate it up, man. Give it some height. Give it some schmear. Yeah. You know, give a little sprinkle, a little twinkle, a little pizzazz, a little razzmatazz. A little razzmatazz. Right? I know you're only four, but look at that. Oh, a smoosh. Boom. That is one Michelin star. I'm not going to say it's That is like some Alinea stuff the right there. <laughs> or you could just serve it to them with a bowl, and which is inevitably going to happen, and they're just they going to dunk it in there and like take a bite. I'm going to try this. I'm going to eat my kids' future breakfast. That's pretty good. You just saw it. That was it, right? It was the <laughs> ultimate steak, egg, and cheese burrito. Super easy to do. Thanks for having me. This is great. Your kids are gonna love this, and the adults too. Am I right? I, I, and if they don't eat it, I'll eat it. Three of them. Yeah.